When I think about Read Brave, I think about the word community. I think about intergenerational learning. I think of great books. I think Read Brave 2020 is an opportunity to elevate, to raise the civic discourse of the entire population of the city of St. Paul about the need for engaging in climate resilience while reducing our contributions to this global problem. This collaboration is going to allow us together to do something that each of us wouldn't be able to do on our own. We're going to be able to reach more people. We're going to be able to have more impact. So what we're really doing is thinking about how can we convey developmentally appropriate messages around climate change? And what that looks like is remaining positive about the progress that we can make. In this program, libraries bring people together to learn, to discuss, and to decide what do we want to do about this as a community and how do we want to protect our future together. I think that students are already really involved in the climate crisis and being aware of what's going on globally. So I think it's something that connects easy to their lives while also opening them up to alternate perspectives. I really enjoy doing Read Brave because all the books I've read so far, all the characters are, I can relate to. The a highlight from it is the overall experience of reading the book and then getting to meet the author and seeing where the inspiration for the book came from. Participating in the program, you have nothing to lose. They give you a free book and an opportunity to meet the author of that book. And secondly, I think that you have like everything to gain if the book is really impactful and interesting and they're chosen to be. The Marrow Thieves by Canadian Metis author Cherie Demeline is this year's main book selection. A 2018 Canada Reads finalist, this young adult novel imagines a dystopian future where global warming has ravaged the earth and, with it, most people's ability to dream. Climate Justice, Hope, Resilience, and the Fight for a Sustainable Future by Mary Robinson, the former president of Ireland, is this year's nonfiction selection. Robinson elevates voices of farmers, activists, and ordinary people from around the globe who are facing the effects of the climate crisis with courage and innovation. Join in learning about a topic affecting our community, our climate crisis. Connect with a community of readers across the city. Read the books and have a conversation. Join us at a story time at our library. Join us in reading the books.